And a very good Thursday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Lewis Dorch. It was a warm day yesterday. 69 was our high in Rapid City, one degree shy of the record, which is 70. That was set back in 19. 51. Now that was pretty much the highest temperatures that we're going to see at least for the next extended period of time as temperatures are going to continue to drop from here on out. Biggest change coming at the beginning of next week where we could actually see some snow, a pretty good chance of snow that we'll be tracking. We'll look at that here in just a little bit. For today though, like I said, temperatures still on the mild side. 45 Custer, 46 Spearfish, 51 in Rapid City. Winds out of the northwest, 20 to 25 miles per hour with gusts into the mid 30s this morning and then those winds will slowly be calming down as we get into the afternoon. Rapid City will top out at 51 with increasing clouds. So mostly sunny this morning, then clouds increasing. That's because we're going to see another front push through tonight. That could kick off a few passing flurries, maybe some light uh, flurries here and there. But for the most part, it'll just be mostly cloudy and then cooler for tomorrow. So it'll start to feel more like December. 41 for a high, partly sunny, more seasonable temperatures, winds light out of the north, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Your 7-day forecast is going to show 36 Saturday, 42 Sunday, 38 on Monday, with snow kicking off late in the day on Monday. It looks like our best chance is going to come overnight Monday and into Tuesday. We'll be tracking this as uh, it continues to get closer. We're still a little bit far out, but right now it looks like uh, we have a pretty good chance of seeing some snow on those days and much cooler as well. 26 on Tuesday, 28 for a high on Wednesday.